YouTube, it's your girl Raven and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching and if you are returning, thanks for coming back and supporting your girl, okay? So today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. Um, it's going to be my very first time doing butterfly locks on myself and over my own locks. So we're going to see how that goes. And so I'm going to rubber band my hair, not tight, <clears throat> because you're going to be crocheting the hair in and twisting it and it's going to tighten up. So you don't want to put the rubber bands, if you have locks, too tight because it's just going to make the hairstyle uncomfortable. Um, so basically, uh, let's get into this video. I'll show you the guys the hair and the tools that I will be using. Let's get into it. All right. All right, guys, I am super excited. Today is Sunday the 15th, and it is about 1.30 in the afternoon, so I'm going to get started. And then also you guys can see how long it takes me to do this hairstyle over my dreads. Now, I have about 60, 60, maybe 62 dreads, so I am going to um, probably double some of them up, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> But, so I'm going to be using this scrunchie. Okay. I'm going to be, because I don't actually need to part my hair, um, but I do, because I need a retwist. So I'm also going to be using this mirror. Yes. And I have this, my edge brush. A pack of rubber bands. I have a big crochet needle. So this is bigger than most I see people have because of, I'm not sure how many strands I'm gonna use per butterfly lock. So this one is the Jumbo <clears throat> Crockett needle. And I got this from my beauty hair store. And then I also have this edge control. And the hair that I'm going to be using is called Afro Hair that I got from Amazon. I ordered this <clears throat> Friday or Thursday. I think it was Friday. And it came today, so very fast shipping. And this is the 27 um, with the 613 at the end. And it also came with a crochet needle and some little hair glue for the finishing touches. This is a, the smaller crochet needle, so... I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to be using. I might use both. So I have that. And this is the hair. It is 18 inch and it is the 27 and 613. 18 inches. And I have nine bundles like this. And it was about... 30 bucks for nine bundles and each bundle come with let's see one i believe it's like 22 that's what it said in the description 22 strands in each bundle so and there's nine bundles so plenty of enough hair more than enough yes so basically i want to try to keep the blonde at the tips so i'm going to see how that goes um, I'm going to start rubber banding my hair. Well, first I'm going to oil it and moisturize it, um, wash it, and then I'm going to start rubber banding it and trying to get slayed, okay? Trying to get slayed. All right, so you guys, I will come back to you once I have my hair washed, um, partially rubber band, and we're getting into this hairstyle today. Bye, babies. See you in a minute. All right, you guys, and I am back. Hair is washed and oiled. Yes. Oh, yes. And previously, I made a video of me, my fiance, and my daughter trying the watermelon and uh, mustard. 
so you guys were able to see my fiance and my daughter my son was not home so but most likely if you keep watching you will be able to meet my family i'm gonna try and get them involved some type of way here on this channel um i just am so grateful again for you guys coming back and supporting your girl um so yeah i got the hair oiled and this is what i used um you know just shampoo my hair conditioner and this is the oil that i used so yeah to oil my hair and my dreads so i oil my roots and then i work my way to the ends because i did dye them so gotta keep those oils so it don't break off and without further ado we're gonna get into rubber banding these dreads So like I said, because I don't necessarily have to part my hair, but you know, I do want it to be neat. So go ahead and rubber band. Put this in a scrunchie so it's not in the way. So, yeah, that was already oiled, so I'm not going to put any additional oil on my hair because I don't want it to slip. I still am going to crochet it in, but still. So, this is how the back is looking. This is how that's looking. So, I'm going to go ahead and rubber band, rubber band the weight. And these are the big rubber bands too. So uh, these are the only ones that was for like 99 cents. I did not want to pay. Yeah, they're big. So I'm just going to use the rubber band. Make it smaller. And again, you don't want to put the rubber bands too tight. Also, one second, because I do have some jam that I can put on it. Let me go get that. jam i don't need much because i already oiled my hair but you just want to put a little bit around the perimeter to make it look more just neater Okay, and I got one in, so you can see it here. I'm um, sorry, my hand needs to be retwisted, but you can see here I don't have it that tight because, again, as I said, I'm gonna be crocheting the hair ends and when you twist. All right, guys, I know I said I was gonna come back once I had my entire head rubber band, um, but I just want to keep you updated on the process. So this is what it's looking like. I am rubber banding my dress. So yeah, we are getting there. I just want to check in with you guys and let you guys know that we are almost there. Okay, so stay tuned for the finished results. Um, once I have everything rubber band, then I will come on and do a few of the butterfly locks maybe like halfway and then i will come back on camera when i have the finished results for you guys for it to be nice but stay tuned on this process i can't wait to see how everything comes out what's up guys okay so this is day two so um of the butterfly lock so i got majority of it done i just gotta do the middle part um 
So as everybody know, I started yesterday about 1.20, so I had to wash my hair, rubber band it. Ooh, I look shiny. Yeah, I look shiny. But I started yesterday about 1.30. Um, I got this far probably like 8 o'clock. Yeah, because I probably stopped like 8, 8.30. So it did take a while. Um, but let me just show you guys so far how it looks. Now, it is a little heavy, and that's because I have a lot of locks. I had like 60-something locks, but I doubled the ones in the middle up, so that way it wouldn't be much. But, you guys, it's so funny. I know I see everybody wearing them to the side. I have not put, like, the mousse or anything like that on it. I just basically um, put it in the ponytail so I can get my butt to work. So, I see a lot of people doing it like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I like it. Like, I haven't even dipped them yet because I am going to dip them. But I've seen some videos to where they say, like, you just dip, get a towel and dip it in water or, or something like that in the hot water. But not too hot because you don't want to mess up the butterfly effect. So, I'm just going to, like, once I finish, that's when I'm going to do that. I like the way this one came out. Like, this one came out very distressed. So, I've been trying to do all the ones that's on the top very distressed like this one. But, yeah, so far, I am liking it. I plan on finishing today, but let me just show you guys how much more I have left. So, I'm going to turn around, and I have that part left all of this now i'm not sure how many because like i said i doubled up the dreads in the back i doubled up my dreads in the back well in the middle part so that way it wouldn't be too much but because oh, let me take this off don't judge me i just got off work but They are thick. Um, some of them I use like four pieces of hair, three, and then one more to like seal it to make sure they don't come loose. And it's been holding up pretty good. And I got so many compliments at work. I was like, am, am, am. Okay. So, yes. And then if you want to get closer so you guys can see the locks individually. I think I did a really good job for this to be my first time. And like I said, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish today. I just got off work. So I'm going to go ahead and finish today. And then I'm going to dip it. I tried to do my baby hairs, y'all, but I'm not good at that mess. But I'm going to try again with the baby hairs and stuff. Like I said, I just got off work, so I probably got sweated it out. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish today. And then, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and finish today and show you guys the outcome. I'll probably like style it or something. I know I see a lot of people putting it like doing a side part. Like, this is how it look in the middle. Ooh, it's still a little tight. Even though I didn't rubber band my hair tight. So be cautious of that when you're rubber banding your hair. So I really don't like the way it looks down. Really? No, I don't. I don't really like how it like looks it in the what middle part. But who with the ponytail or a bun? You know what I'm saying? Period. <sighs> Cause I'm am. Cause I'm am. I miss her. She is me. Me is her. Period. But yeah, I like how these came out. Everybody liked them at work. I like them. I do want more blonde, and I did want them all more like just just like this and flimsy. But hey, it's my first time. Yes, and I think they came out wonderful. Now the next time I do some, 
Um, I'm probably going to double up more of my dreads because this is a lot of hair, okay? I have like 60-something dreads, so I didn't want 60-something of these locks because I wanted them thick to make it look full, but I did not want them heavy. So, as I stated, I am going to finish my hair today or at least try to finish if I don't run out of hair. And again, I bought the hair off of Amazon. It came like nine bundles with 22 strands in each pack. Um, so like 122, 26, something like that um, came in the pack. So hopefully I doubled up enough to where I don't run out and I can go ahead and finish today. And then I will come back once I dip it, put the mousse on it, slay my edges and come back so y'all can see the finished result hopefully okay because like jesus like it was it took me to catch on like fast but again like i said i have a lot of dreads so and at first i was just planning on doing each individual dread as a butterfly lock but your girl is too hot where i work okay i've been done cut this shit out on the line just cut it out cut it out but thank you guys for tuning in and just be patient with me like i said i will be back here in a few um i'm gonna try and finish up everything today uh so i can give you guys a finished result kind of style it up for you to see how it looks and i just want you guys in the comments section to let me know what you think about these blonde butterfly locks on me and what color you think would look good on me that i can try next because i will definitely do it again um, I definitely want to do it again because I want them all to come out more like this one. What's up, guys? I'm back. Okay, so... <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do is because I don't have enough hair to finish my butterfly locks. So I'm not going to worry about it. For one, it is a lot of hair. So I'm not going to worry about it. But what I am going to do is once I get home, because I'm at Walmart right now, as you can see... I'm here with my man. He's about to get his car worked on. That's his car. He's about to get them tires put on, okay, so he can get his butt to work. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to dip them. Again, you don't want the water too hot because you don't want to mess up the little butterfly part of the lock. So I'm just going to dip them in some hot water, not boiling, scorching hot, but some boiling water, some hot water. Dip them, style my edges, um, and basically, you know, put my face on, and then I'm going to come back and give you guys, I'm going to style it because, I, like I said, I wasn't able to finish everything in the middle. I probably had, like, maybe three or four left locks to do, so what I'm going to do is just basically style my edges, put my face on, dip them, um, and style it, and come back and show you guys the finished result, and I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and dip it. Oh, child. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and dip the hair. Again, I got the water going. It's over there. We don't want to dip it too much because we don't want to mess up the butterfly flake. And I was going to show you guys how much I had left in the back. So I had one two, three, four more locks to do, and I would have been done. But for the most part, it looks full, so I'm not worried about it. Like I said, I'm going to dip it, style it, lay my edges, put my face on, and get y'all the truth, okay? Um, but just in case somebody would like to see me dip it just to see how the outcome is, I am gonna go ahead and do that on camera for you guys, because that's what I was gonna do. But I'll go ahead and dip it for you guys, so. I got my pot going. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use this cup. Now, because the water is boiling, like boiling, I'm going to add a little. Hey, buddy, go get some air. Okay, honey. Thank you. 
Get your towel ready. What are you doing? You're a while away, you want to stay here? I'm going to stay. Where are you going to get air from? Okay. Yeah, I'll stay. Now the tricky part is going to be this back part. You ever heard of me? Sorry. The back part, I'm just going to not even play with it. I'm getting that going. Huh? I said I got that going. Yeah, what is it? Uh, pork chops, um, baked beans, and some more stuff. guys and thanks for holding in there okay so this is my finishing touch okay so I got the half up half down bun and I have half of it down in the back so I did dip them so you guys they are still holding up I did dip them but again like I said I did not just submerge them I poured the water on top of them and then compacted them and so they dried. Some of them I did dip the one that's in the back that didn't really have that too much of that butterfly um, effect going on on them. So I wasn't too much worried about that. But for the most part, it did make them feel a lot lighter now that they're dry since I dipped them um, because it was heavy. Okay. And I have a lot of locks. Um, so like I said, I was going to style it because I did have four locks left that I was not able to complete because um, I have to get the hair and my schedule is just really busy right now. Um, so... I didn't have the time to go and get the hair. But y'all, I did put my face on and check this edges out. Period. Period. Okay. And with the bang parts right there. Okay. Let me get all that back part. So this is how the back looks. This is my bun. Okay, and you can't tell me I'm not cute. I am really feeling this. I thought I'm putting my face on everything. I'm really feeling this hairstyle. And I've heard a lot of girls say that, you know, like once you put your makeup on and stuff, you just be like, ew. Okay, because ew. I feel like a hot mama. Period. 
And who is she? She is I. I miss her. Period. Yeah. I hope you guys like this look. I'm loving it. Um, let me go ahead. Just because I mess with y'all, let me go ahead and just take it down so you guys can see when it's down and I'm going to flip it to the side and basically, you know, style it up for you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so let me just give you a little, give y'all VIP treatment, okay? A little bit of this ratchetness. Ooh, it's still kind of sore. So you got to take your time, take your time. All right, and so how I want to style it is... Well, not the middle part, but the side part. Kind of like that. So. Okay. Where she said? <laughs> Where she said? Now, they all are different limbs, but for the most part, I try to keep it you can see where I was not able to finish right here. Like I said, I had four more locks to do before I was finished, but who cares, y'all? It took a long time, and y'all waited, so here you go. So here's, here it is. Yes, and after dipping it, it definitely gets that look. Ooh, okay. Who is she with that one? Okay. Yes, town. Wait a minute. Again, y'all, thanks for sticking in there with me through this process. I hope you guys like the finished result, okay? If you have not tried them, I would suggest try them, okay? Yes, get into this, the butterfly look, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope somebody likes this style, and I hope this tutorial helps someone out, okay? Because it was a challenge for me at first, but then I got the hang of it, and you can do it too. Okay, so just don't give up. And again, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, lovelies. Bye.